up guys in front of me you can see there's two pairs of world war ii hbt's so hbt stands for herringbone twill which is the fabric that these uniforms were made out of starting over here is what's referred to as the first pattern hbt's so you can see they are a lighter shade of course they're original so they might be a little faded but they are definitely a lighter shade and you can see the pockets are pleated and kind of the corners are kind of squared off and they have buttons at the cuffs you can see some of them are off because it's original but and adjustable waist on both sides to make it either tighter or looser now if we look at the trousers you can see they have a button fly and they have side pockets like this on each side along with on this side they have a small watch pocket as well as two pockets in back so those are the first pattern hbt's the first pattern hbt's started production in 1941 right before the u.s got in the war and they produced them to the end of 1942 and then in 1942 they switched over to the second pattern hbt's which is what's here but except it was in a lighter shade which is what's known as the light shade or second pattern hbt's so throughout 1942 they made the second pattern hbt's but then at the end of 1942 they switched over to the dark shade or third pattern hbt's which is what you see here it's the same exact thing as the second pattern hbt's just a darker color you can see it has slightly bigger pockets than the first pattern and they're not pleated and the pockets are just squared off but once again has the same buttons no adjustable waist though it still does have the buttons on the cuffs so coming down to the trousers you can see the only pockets they have are these big ones on each side on each leg so from the beginning of these in 19 late 1942 to 19 mid 1944 they actually had the pockets were up a few inches about started right here and then in mid 1942 they moved them down here so on during d-day you still mostly see the higher pockets so i do need to get a pair of those i do just have these ones right now though these third pattern hbt's are what you mostly see throughout Europe. The darker shade, third pattern HBTs. The first pattern, you don't really see too much. You see them a little bit with Marines on um, Cape Gloucester and a little bit of them made their way to Peleliu and probably some other islands. But you mostly see the third pattern or dark shade HBTs. Besides the M37 wool uniform, this was another utility uniform that you could see in combat and throughout Europe. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. That is a quick, basic summary of the HBT uniforms throughout the Second World War.